Hey guys, I hope everyone had an awesome 4th of July. This month's Home Buyer 101 is all about seizing the market. So right now, uh, the talk in the town in real estate is the interest rates. They're 7%, a lot higher than we've seen in years past, pre-COVID and during COVID. Um, during COVID, you know we were seeing interest rates in the 2.5, 3, 3.5% range. Um, and we're, we're double that right now. So they are quite a bit higher. Those higher interest rates are affecting people's home affordability. They're affecting mortgage payments and what people are comfortable paying. Um, and it's, it's definitely pulled a number of buyers out of the home buying market at this time. Um, so with that being said, a lot of people are, are holding out and waiting uh, until those interest rates drop again in order to get back into the market. So what I wanted to talk about this month is some of the pros to hopping in the market now. I think a lot of people don't think of that side of it. Um, and as time goes on and hopefully we see those interest rates drop, um, I think it could be a lot more difficult for people to buy a home, essentially, I mean, especially first time home buyers who are looking to get that first home and are looking to get something affordable for them. Um, right now, for first time home buyers, I think now's a great time to get into the market if you can afford it. Obviously, you need to look at your finances and make sure everything's straight there. But if you can afford to get a home now, I recommend it for a couple of reasons. One, the competition pool is very light right now. Um, on a lot of homes, you're seeing five offers, two offers, even one offer that you might be competing against. Um, and for a first time home buyer who might not have the assets and the cash to go ahead and you know put down an offer, or put down a ton of money, or even go cash offers, it's a lot more appealing to sellers right now when they don't have an, a lot of other offers to choose from. So I think that buyer pool being so much lower, um, I know as soon as the interest rates drop, a number of people from COVID um, and then from the highest interest rates over the last six months to a year are going to get in the market. There are people waiting to get homes, but they're, they're waiting for the interest rates to drop. So I think that competition and, and getting it early while you can is going to be very, very helpful. Um, a second reason is once those interest rates drop, in the home buyer pool increases, you're going to see a large increase in the amount that you're paying for homes. I've had clients recently who have been able to get homes at asking price or under asking price. And as that competition gets larger and larger, it's the, the homes are going to go well over asking, I, I, I think, um, you know, 10,000, 20,000. As we see those interest rates come down, competition is going to bring that out and people are going to do whatever they can to secure a home. So, um, a couple of reasons, you know, you've got competition one, you're going to be able to get a home um, at list or below list potentially. Um, and then on top of that, there's just the stress of going against 15 to 20 offers on a weekend and putting offers in on homes and, and potentially losing those homes and having to start back at the drawing board. The, the mental strain that it takes on a home buyer as you're looking for homes and you can't find one when you want one, um, it, takes, it takes a great toll. So I think the mental part of things is, is very important for you know, a first time home buyer or somebody looking to make a move. Now might be worth saving that stress, buying your home, securing it. And then as the interest rates drop, you know, in a year or as time passes, you can refinance that home um, and, and go and get a lower interest rate and, and had the home secured at a lower price rather than waiting, potentially paying over asking price um, and then competing with a ton of other offers as well. So just food for thought. Obviously, I don't have a crystal ball. Nobody in real estate has a crystal ball to see what's going to happen. But I think now's a great time to seize the market. So that's our Home Buyer 101 for the month of July. And I'll see you guys next month. Take care.